Look, confidence is that one thing that every guy needs. It's like the key to life to really win across any sector of your life. Well, today, I'm going to show you everything you need to do to unlock that inner confidence that's in all of us. It's free. It's basically unlimited. And it has the potential to just increase every aspect of your life. Love, money, relationship. Let's just get started. Number one, focus on your strengths. See, everybody has strengths and weaknesses. However, our brain is hardwired for loss adversion, which means that when looking at the good and at the bad, it's going to over focus on the bad to try and avoid it. But what ends up happening is that since you're so focused on the bad, you end up being blind to the positive and all you think about is all the bad that you suck and everything you suck at. So you need to start forcing yourself to start looking at that cup half full. See, every time something negative happens in your life, don't see it as a loss, see it as a gain, a gain of knowledge that you can further use to strengthen your strength. Number two, set a table goals daily. See, reaching goals, it releases this euphoria in your brain that makes you feel accomplished and capable of those strengths that we talked about. So you want to set attainable goals daily that you know you can tackle. For example, say your weight is your biggest insecurity. Well, make it a goal to do at least one form of sort of anything, of physical activity every day and do that daily. Let's say your insecurity is women. That's fine. Make it a goal to go and talk to at least one new girl every day and it could be about anything. It doesn't matter. It's just to get those social skills warmed up. Do that daily. This is going to reassure you that you actually are capable in these insecurities and make you feel good because you're accomplishing those tasks, all of which is just going to reinforce your confidence and make you unstoppable. Number three, you have to stop comparing. Look, it is human nature to compare what you have, your success, your car, your house, your girl, to what other people have, especially if you're comparing it to what you're seeing on social media. What you got to understand is that no one, even including myself, will put the negative parts on social media. We're not going to put all the insecurities, all the trials and tribulations that you face on a daily basis. No, you only put the best of the best on social media, which then sets this unrealistic expectation that everybody believes that it's always sunshine and rainbows. It's not. So what ends up happening is that people start comparing themselves to this perfect life that they see from celebrities or influencers, which ends up crushing their confidence, making them think they're not good enough because their life is not that good. As soon as you realize that and you stop comparing yourself to fake standards, that's when you literally will unlock that true confidence inside. Number four, present yourself as confident. See, your exterior does affect your interior. If you want to change your interior, how you feel and feel more confident, you have to change how you look. So in any situation, in any room, in any conversation, I want you to always stand tall. Like I'm talking straight with your head straight and your head always held up high, looking straight, never looking down and your feet shoulder width apart. This right here, this is what you call a power pose, mainly because you look powerful and confident. Thus inside, you're going to feel just as confident and just as dominant. It actually affects how you feel. And finally, number five, you have to have self-awareness. Like you have to be real with yourself, accept who you are. And then you also have to accept you're not perfect. No one is perfect. Nobody that you ever look at will ever be perfect. Everybody can work in some aspect of their life to be a nicer person, a more humble person, a harder working person, a more successful person, a better looking person, a more charismatic person, better. Like there's always one area that you can fix. So you got to be self-aware enough to understand that there might be deficiencies in certain areas of your life that you can work on, that you can fix. And once you achieve that self-awareness and you actually start fixing those, that's when you unlock unlimited potential. That's when you get that real confidence because you're going to start working on those deficiencies, building them up, turning them into strength, and then you move on. Now you're going to start evolving and you're going to get so consumed into that self-development, into building a better self, building up yourself, your confidence is going to be rock solid. Like nobody is going to be able to tumble you down. So that's it for me in today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop us a like down below and share this video because it helps your brother out. That's it for me today. See you next time.